schools? High schools? <coughs> They're just pointing at each other. <laughs> you answer, you answer. Okay. True happiness really happens when you surrender. And you can surrender in different, different ways. If you're following the path of Vijnana, the surrender comes at the very last stage. So when you're following the path of Bhakti, surrender comes very easy. But nonetheless, surrender has to happen. Then only true happiness can come. So very simple example and a story that talks about this. You guys are paying attention, right? Are you paying attention? Okay. Otherwise you'll miss out on the secret for true happiness. Okay. So there were two children. They were with the father. And they went for 4th of July fireworks. One child was really small, like first grade. Okay. So that child said, Father, you take me in your lap. Lap meaning in your shoulder, in your arm. So he was carrying that small child in his arm. And the other was old enough so he could walk. So he was holding his father's hand. And they were walking. And at that time, the fireworks started. Are you? Something really interesting that you have in the <laughs> So, the fireworks started, and the baby, the one who was walking, right? That child looked up on the sun and was so amazed that he let go of his father's hand. And as soon as he let go of the father's hand, he started walking in front. And as he walked, he stepped on a pothole and just fell. So he stepped on this pothole and he fell. But the same child, who, the other child who was in father's arm, he also looked up and he was clapping with both hands. So he was clapping with both hands and he was enjoying. So what does this mean? It means that the first child who wanted to enjoy everything in this world said that, Father, I will let go of your hand and I will do it by myself. Because he also wanted to clap, but he couldn't clap unless he had to let go of his father's hand. But the baby who was being carried by the father can enjoy everything and not have to worry about falling down because it was being taken care by the father. So if we also surrender like that baby, everything else gets taken care of by our father, by Bhagwan, And we can actually enjoy the same amount, if not greater, without any suffering. But whereas the other, we may have to suffer. So you guys decide what, you, what would you choose? Would you want to fall and then enjoy? Or would you want to stay in your father's lap and enjoy? Okay. Thank you.